In this video, I want to show you how you can use a function called COUNTIF on Excel to count uh, whatever you want to count. Now, here I've got a data. Let me show you the data. This is the data about 300 people. So let me scroll down. So this is 300 people. Okay, so you've got different categories there. you got male, female. Okay, let me scroll up. you got male, female. You got employed, unemployed, you got different qualifications, degree, vocational, none, school, you got ethnicity, you got European, other, and Maori. And these are called the qualitative data, and this is called the quantitative data. Now, before, when you have a data and you want to make an investigation about this data, uh, first thing you need to know how many male and female are there. You can count it. So you can count like this, and it will take ages. So let's let me show you how you can do this on Excel quite fast by just knowing the count if count if function. Okay, so you first I will copy this Control C and Control V. Control C, Control V, and then let me write total there. I want how many male and how many female are there in this data. So the, let me make this bigger so that you can see the formula. The formula is like this. Uh, you go equal, always Excel starts with, if you want to use a formula, you have to start with equal count if. And then you have to start with a bracket. What do you want to count? you need to tell Excel what you want to count. I want to count male and female. So click on the first cell and then press Control Shift down arrow. So it will highlight the whole data. So let us drag it up. And the next thing is very important. Next is, let me show you this. Okay, so now this is from B2 to B301. So you've got 300 data here. And I want to log this. Now this is a important step. To lock this data, you have to press F4. If you press F4, you can see the dollar sign coming before B. So this data is locked. This is dollar B dollar two. That is data from B2 to B301 is locked. And then you have to do a comma and then click on female. So we are telling Excel count all the female that was from B2 to B301. And if you press enter, it will tell you there's 153 female. And then if you just catch the tail and drag it down, it will tell you the 147 male. And then again, you can add this up. You can, you don't need to use Excel to add this up. This is 300, but let's show me how you can add this. So you, the function is sum, 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 bracket, highlight the data, and then enter. So you've got 300 male and female. Okay, so let me show you one more. Let me show you about this. Let me make this smaller. Okay, so now if I want to see, so let me talk about qualification. That the four types of qualification. You've got degree, vocation, none, and school. I want to... So I will just go Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, Control C, and then the, I got the school here. So I want to count how many people are with degree, how many are with vocational qualification, how many don't have a qualification, how many have a school qualification. So you go, you want Excel to count in the cell D. So you say. Let me make this bigger. So the same formula, equal count if, and then start with a bracket. So let me drag this to this side. So highlight the cell, control shift down arrow, and then go up, and then you have to press F4. You have to press F4. If you press F4, this is locking the data. And then you have to do a comma and degree. So I'm telling Excel, count me all the people with degree. And then 
press enter. So there are 33 people with degree. And then just catch the tail like this. This plus arrow will come appear. And then if you drag it down, it will tell you the other numbers. So let me again do control C, control V, and then equal sum bracket. So this is again 300. So I know the 300 people with degree 66 with vocation, 113 with school and 88 with none. 